How tangible is the connection from one species to another? The year is 1994, and researchers at the Marine Mammal Center are approaching the end of a 15-year study on a mysterious cancer in California sea lions. Since the late 1970s, Sea lions on the central California coast have stranded with widespread tumors leading to dangerously low body weights and paralysis of the hind flippers. Most don't make it. In fact, out of 370 deaths recorded, 18% are the result of the unexplained cancer, and scientists don't know the cause. But they have clues. All of the sea lions are subadults or older, and at least 110 pounds. A high proportion of them have cancerous tumors in the pelvic area. Tests conducted by scientists confirm that the origin of the cancer cells is epithelial in nature, meaning that they originate in a type of body tissue that lines many of a sea lion's internal organs. And as researchers examine tissue samples under an electron microscope, they make a disturbing discovery. Viral particles consistent with herpes virus. Further tests demonstrate herpes virus DNA sequences present in the cancerous tumors. Scientists suspect that the virus could be the key to understanding the cancer, and to help them learn more, turn to an unlikely proxy, humans. In a study published only several years prior, human medical researchers identified a herpes virus-like DNA in patients with Kaposi's sarcoma a type of cancer closely linked to the 1980s AIDS epidemic. The virus implicated in the Kaposi's sarcoma is shockingly similar to the virus present in the sea lions. But the proportion of animals with the virus that develop cancer is far greater than the proportion seen in humans. Once again, insights into human medicine provide potential answers. People exposed to toxins over the course of their life through working in high exposure industries are shown to be at a greater risk of developing Kaposi's sarcoma. Ocean contaminants could have a similar effect on the sea lions, as many sea lions are shown to accumulate chemicals in their blubber. The findings of scientists at the Marine Mammal Center and elsewhere lead informed members of the public to ask a fascinating question. If so many parallels are present between the cancer observed in California sea lion populations and those seen in humans, could further study of the sea lions lead to new understandings of human cancer as well? As far as study subjects go, there are very few that have as many beneficial attributes as marine mammals. Unlike domestic animals, wild populations like the California sea lions live and breed freely, which makes them a closer simulation of human populations. Today, Scientists at the Marine Mammal Center believe that the cancer is caused by a combination of the herpes virus, environmental pollutants, and genetic predisposition. With several similarities between human and sea lion cancer, the possibility for research on one to inform our understanding of the other is a connection that scientists are exploring fervently, a connection from one species to another.